if you have a graph of the position of a wave versus the horizontal position of the wave, and you're asked to find some different things about it, one of the things you may be asked is to find the amplitude. The amplitude is the height of the wave. So the easiest thing to do is find the highest and lowest points of the wave, get that distance, and then cut it in half. This will give you the amplitude of the wave. The amplitude is measured from the center line. So finding the highest and lowest points and cutting it in half should give you a good value for your amplitude. You may also be asked to find the wavelength of the wave. In that case, the best thing to do is to pick a spot that's easy to identify, find where it repeats again for the first time, and look at what your distance is there. So look at where the wave ends, in this case around 4.7. Look at where your wave starts, in this case around 0.5. Subtract those two distances and that will give you the wavelength of the wave. Now notice this is a graph of vertical position versus horizontal position. There are some times where you're going to get a graph of position versus time, like this one. So finding the amplitude, you do the same way we did before, but now when you look for what used to be the wavelength, this is now no longer a distance, this is a time. This is the time it takes the wave to occur one time. This will be the period, the time for one complete cycle. If you're asked to find the frequency, Realize that 1 over the period will be the frequency. This will be the number of cycles that you get in a one second time interval. So you should be able to find from your graph of position versus time, amplitude, half the total height of the wave, period, the time it takes the wave to make one cycle, frequency, the number of cycles it makes per second, which is the inverse of the period, and if you have a graph of position versus horizontal position, then you should be able to get the wavelength of the wave. If you're given both graphs, you might need to find the velocity of the wave. Just take the wavelength you got from your one graph, the frequency you got from your other graph, multiply them together and you'll get the speed of the wave. This is pretty obvious because the wavelength is the distance traveled in one cycle and frequency is the reciprocal of period. That would be one over the period. That gives us our formula for velocity.